that's actually fine. An instantaneous rate of change. We'll look at x squared at x equals three. And we'll use the second formula. So we'll think of the interval that we're looking at as three comma three plus H. And we look at the average rate of change on that interval. And our goal is to let H get closer and closer to zero. But it's not at all obvious what happens to this as H gets closer to zero. So what we're going to do is simplify it. Here's F of three plus H, here's F of three, and here's H. And now this we can foil. Nine plus six H, plus H squared. We've got this minus nine, all divided by H. And you see nine and negative nine, those terms go away. And we can pull an H out. We've got an H here and an H here. And these H's cancel. So this average rate of change is six plus H. And as H gets closer and closer to zero, six plus H gets closer and closer to six. We could look at that last statement graphically if we wanted to. This upper line is six plus H. At the moment, H equals one. And this lower line is a six. And now you see we've got a slider, so we can change H. And we'll start letting H get closer to zero. And you see that six plus H goes down to six as H approaches zero. So writing down what we just said, as H approaches zero, six plus H approaches six. And this six is the instantaneous rate of change we were looking for. Uh.